Today in Crypto Wally Di Emo, the Deputy Secretary of the United States Department of the Treasury, said the department would likely be enforcing more sanctions on companies involved in illicit transactions related to ransomware payments. Speaking at an online event hosted by the Center for a New American Security with former Treasury Secretary Jack Lew and Ambassador Paula Dobrynsky, Eddie Emo said the U.S. government would likely be dipping into its toolbox by employing sanctions when criminals threaten national security interests. He specifically mentioned crypto exchanges or mixers that are fundamentally in the business of furthering cyber criminals as possible targets. Continue reading on Coin Telegraph. The World Bank reports that more than 2 billion people worldwide lack access to working capital and financial services. Yet records show that only 67% of the world's adult population is covered by credit bureaus across the globe. As it seems, the main bottleneck that stands in the way of the increased availability of loans is the difficulty in establishing accurate and reliable credit scoring systems. When it comes to credit scoring, one size simply doesn't fit all. In traditional finance, Credit scoring systems are highly centralized with an overall structure that is highly data-intensive. While these solutions are gaining more usage by the day, they remain vulnerable to manipulation and in most cases, a large percentage of borrowers are left out of the system. Decentralized finance options seem to be an emerging solution however. The sector is riddled with over-collateralized platforms that further decrease access to working capital. Sublime is a soon-to-be-launched decentralized credit system that solves the problem of over-collateralization as well as over-reliance on centralized credit scoring systems. Here is a primer on what the future of debt products will look like. What is Sublime? Sublime is a DeFi native application built on the Ethereum blockchain and made up of a system of interacting entities that all together make up a decentralized centralized lending platform where borrowers can leverage their digital identities to access loans. Instead of deploying a traditional highly centralized credit scoring system or using an over-collateralized lending and borrowing protocol as is the norm in most BIFI platforms, Sublime offers a solution that cuts both ways with a focus on personal connections by allowing borrowers to use their social media profiles to borrow from lenders that trust them. This makes it possible for users to stack up their reputation in an organic yet decentralized manner. They can even go further using NFTs and other blockchain-based assets as collateral on Sublime. How does Sublime works? At its core, Sublime operates as a network of entities that effectively crowdsources credit scoring through individual user feedback. Loans can exist in pool-based structures where multiple lenders satisfy a single loan request or there is also the option of a peer-to-peer -peer lender and borrower interaction through a credit line. Sublime features a customizable design of debt products and a composable framework that allows third parties to leverage their open-source platform for various purposes. Its flexibility allows institutions acting as lenders on the network to potentially implement extra KYC for their borrowers or simply work with other whitelisted institutions only in an anonymous on-chain interaction. Decentralized Autonomous Organizations DAOs, on the other hand can raise debt publicly from their community. Just as miners on a proof-of-work network verify the validity of transactions, Sublime is designed such that special entities called verifiers decide whether an identity mapping is valid or not. Initially, the Sublime Foundation will provide verification but over time will onboard new verifiers to the network to provide verification for other forms of digital identities to the network. As the platform grows, more roles will shift to the governing committee of the ecosystem. More than a DeFi borrowing and lending protocol Sublime goes beyond its decentralized credit scoring scoring system and debt protocol to offer other financial services such as decentralized savings accounts. Given the fact that Sublime is integrated with top DeFi protocols such as Aven Compound, Users can deposit their collateral locked in pools across the DeFi landscape and use that collateral to earn interest from within Sublime. This allows users to multiply the amount of yield they can generate thus adding an element of capital efficiency. Conclusion a new era in the DeFi lending and borrowing sector Sublime is on track to bring its vision to reality given the fact that the startup has already raised $2.5 million in funding from backers such as Fintech Collective, Ryan Selkies. Electric Capital, Galaxy Digital, Collab Plus Currency, and Jill Gunder. At its core, 
Sublime is facilitating a new decentralized form of risk assessment for lenders while allowing borrowers easy access to loans at much lower costs. Going forward, Sublime plans to launch the alpha version of its platform and follow it up with other rounds of fundraising. While speaking at a press release, Sublime's founder Riddick Dutta showed his excitement about the coming launch and remarked about how Sublime's approach could potentially help solve issues with credit even beyond DeFi. In the coming weeks, Sublime plans to begin its alpha thus giving select users a chance to start using its platform. Continue reading on CoinQuora. Two or three weeks ago, when Bitcoin, BTC, was trading below $52,000, a trader betting on $65,000 by October 22 would have been considered extremely optimistic. The fact that 98% of the put, sell, options for Bitcoin's weekly options expiry on October 22 has been placed below that price proves that this is true. Fast forward to this week, and the successful launch of the first BTC exchange traded fund, ETF in the United States and news that digital currency group, DCG, the parent company of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, increased its limit to acquire up to $1 billion worth of GBTC shares, boosted Bitcoin price to new all-time highs. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Wipso price action has returned to the cryptocurrency market after Bitcoin's, BTC, Price lost steam at $67,100 and retracted to the $62,000 level. An early morning 87% flash crash in the price of BTC at Binance US saw the price briefly touch $10,000 and it may have set the market on edge, but generally, it appears to have been an isolated event. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and Trading View show that bears have briefly taken control of the market with the price now fluctuating between $62,000 to $63,500. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Wipso price action has returned to the cryptocurrency market after Bitcoin's BTC. Price lost steam at $67,100 and retracted to the $62,000 level. An early morning 87% flash crash in the price of BTC at Binance US saw the price briefly touch $10,000 and it may have set the market on edge, but generally, it appears to have been an isolated event. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and Trading View show that bears have briefly taken control of the market with the price now fluctuating between $62,000 to $63,500. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.